Yo, what's up folks? Welcome back to video number 14 on tests part one. The question is, why do we need tests? Now, I would like to start with a question and that is, do you know whether the result of our previous assignment is correct? So I don't, but I hope so. But I think it's not a very professional approach to developing a application and therefore we would have to assure that our results are correct. Now what we could do is, for example, we could have a look at our CSV file that we are loading um, and in inspect it whether the results that we have generated with our logic is correct. But that's basically called manual testing and once we change the code, we would have to do all these steps again. Now if we build a, an entire chain of transformations, in other words, an entire application transforming our data, we would have to do that manual testing for all the previous steps or following steps as well to make sure that these are still working correctly. So that's called manual testing and it's a developer's or a real engineer's nightmare. Even though I have worked with many people in professional contexts who thought that testing was not necessary but i encourage you as you want to develop high quality software there is no way around testing here i put a small definition which is only my um, opinion i say high quality software is a composition of small and well functioning tested units if any of these things is not given you cannot talk about high quality software. What happens if you come into a project and they have a couple of thousands line, thousand lines of code and no single test? What, happen, what happens is that you cannot change any line of code because otherwise you would have to assert that all the other functionality is still working correctly. Now that brings us to our next point um, where we are going to answer what's a unit test. And basically, we want to assure automatically, not manually, that all of the units that we have developed are working correctly. So using this automated test, we want to test the interfaces of the units that we are creating and we want to test that their functionality is correct. So using unit tests, we can define and also document what each of the units is supposed to do and we will basically get notified once the unit is not working anymore as intended by the developer. So it is a very, 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 very essential skill to learn if you want to build software in a professional context. And that's why I'm covering it here in this small video series. And in the next videos, we are going to look at how can we test data frame code. All right, thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video where we're going to write our first test. Mm -hmm.